the highest i scored in jam biology was 86 but if i am given another opportunity to rewrite this exam i would write my wrongs and score higher than 86 using these techniques one i would pay more attention to using visuals and drawings in my writing because over the years i've discovered that it is easier for the brain to remember words that are written with beautiful colors and beautiful writings and even beautiful drawings than the normal text and drawings i've also learned that the brain easily remembers patterns and organized work so this alone will affect my note taking skills because i will not take my notes seriously and i won't have a tattered note i will make my notes look neat now i want to ask you a question these two notes which is easier to remember this or this secondly since i know that it is easier for the brain to remember visuals i'll take advantage of this what do i mean by taking advantage of this i'll start pasting stuffs both formulas beautiful writings and those difficult concepts that are very difficult for me to remember i'll start pasting them all over my house my kitchen the toilet my room and where i often stay and even my reading table because the more you see these writings these drawings that are pasted all over your house and even these formulas that you pasted everywhere trust me it will be difficult for you to forget them because the more you see them it will stick in your head and you won't forget it trust me on this number three i'll use comparisons to learn difficult contrasting concepts because from scientific research comparing two ideas in a tabular form and finding their differences and similarities makes it easier for the brain to remember for example let's say i want to memorize all that happens in the light and the dark reactions of photosynthesis because be careful this topic could be very confusing at times but what i would do is to make a table and compare the two together now compare these two notes this and this which is easier for you to remember guys use your head stay with me this is not yet the most interesting part number four is that i'll question all the answers from my past questions and my cbt apps because they are silent killers but nobody is talking about them i've discovered and found out that most of these cbt apps that we hype get their answers and their updates from students feedbacks and you know that it is not all the time that students are right let's use this question as an example let's assume that the answer to this question is b but majority of students are saying that a is the answer the apps what they do is to pick what the majority are saying ignoring the minority not knowing that sometimes the majority are also wrong to further drive this home let me just you guys about what happened to me in my 2019 biology jump exam in the exam hall this question came out if you know past question very well you know that this question was from jam biology 2007 and the question came out in my exam and because i've seen it already in my past question and my past question gave the answer that the answer is mouse but then when i read the past question then i was confused about the answer so i checked online and another cbt app also said that the answer was mouse but then when i saw it in the exam hall i picked mouse and continued answering my question so after i finished answering the question i came back to recheck my work i had some doubts about whether to pick mouse or pick fish i picked fish and then cancelled fish and went back to mouse so after the exams i still had doubts in my mind i had to go back to my past question and search for where the question was that is not bad 35 in 2007 biology jam then i started doing my research about it i went online i read textbooks i used many sources to make sure that my conscience is clear or that i don't have that doubt that i believe that i got the questions i read many sources i watched online videos and i came to the conclusion that the answer was fish so i was heartbroken then i was so so heartbroken i know you guys know the feelings of getting heartbroken when you pick the right answer and later cancel it and choose the wrong answer so i had sleepless nights then i know you guys get the feeling imagine that i got the question correct but when i got this past question i just got it newly to really illustrate this thing to you guys i saw that the past question picked snail as the answer i've done my research very well and i've also checked those cbt apps that you guys are using if you go and ask them this question they will say that the answer is snail but the answer is fish i'm not here to make arguments about it just go and do thorough research about this that is why i discussed about using the investigative study method to study your past questions 
in this video you can go and check it out after this video number five is to avoid topics that are not in your syllabus i'll use this as an example now look at this topic in modern biology this is not in your syllabus in fact at the time of recording this video it is not in your syllabus and because it's not in your syllabus you're not going to see any question relating to it in your syllabus if you have already read the topic or maybe you're currently studying it i will not be judgmental you can continue reading it but don't expect it to appear in your questions but it can appear in your post utmu questions the sixth point is that i'll pay more attention to memorizing things that i easily forget i'll use this question as an example this type of question always confuses me because sometimes i'll make the mistake of pairing adenine with cytosine so i came up with a mnemonic so that i won't ever confuse these stuffs again and the mnemonic i formed for this was at gc so whenever i see these questions relating to these base pairing stuffs i'll just remember at gc i school at government college so it was easier for me to remember it whenever, whenever i remember at gc you know gc is like the short form of government college i'll remember that adenine pays with thiamine why guanine pays with cytosine so this mnemonic made this type of question become the cheapest questions for me because i don't know the reason why jam likes asking those questions that are very very confusing so guys find a way to memorize those things that you easily forget and even find a way to paste it in your wall paste it everywhere that you go to so that you can easily remember it and not forget it ever ever again then to my number seventh point from what we have been discussing don't you think that study is a skill to be learned and a skill to be mastered this is what makes the difference between smart and dumb students at a point in my life i thought that i was among the dumb students because i easily forget what i read but when i mastered this skill it became very easy for me and soon i'll be releasing a series on mastering study so for you not to miss out why not click the subscribe button click the like button and also click the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i drop video update then the number seven point as i was saying earlier there are some things you need to memorize in your notes in fact these are basic things that every jam student that is writing biology needs to memorize and one of them is the game reserves in nigeria if you are very familiar with the past questions you know that they always repeat these questions and most times students fall to the trap that they can't even remember it and you can memorize it using your textbook in fact i saw this particular topic in my past jam exam and it came this way what is the largest game reserve in nigeria so if you have memorized the game reserves it will be easier for you to know the largest game reserve in nigeria also you need to memorize the scientific name of vitamins and also the biomes in nigeria if you know your past question very well you know that they always repeat questions on this and most students fail it and to easily remember this or to easily memorize it i recommend that you use this map in your textbook to easily memorize the biomes in nigeria including their states also you need to know the classification of bacteria by their shapes something like cocci bacillus and the rest you can see them in your textbook so try to memorize them also there are some diagrams you need to memorize because most times jam always like to release diagrams in their questions and one of them is mushroom or bread mold Planudomonas, paramecium, ameba, plant cells and animal cells among others there are much that i can't really cover them in this video but if you want me to make video on all the diagrams you need to memorize before writing the jam biology exam i promise to make the video if i can get up to 1000 likes on this video so you can vote now by liking the video the earlier the better now the last but not the least is that i would avoid studying the jam syllables the wrong way I made so many mistakes while preparing for my former jam examinations and I resolved in my heart to help as many students as possible to overcome this mistake that I made because I discovered that majority of you that are studying with the syllabus are making mistakes while studying it and most of you are not even studying it the right way what if you are studying the syllabus the wrong way trust me this could cost you a lot that the hours that you invested into study becomes a waste so join me in this video as I discuss the best way to study your syllables and also in that video i also gave out the modern biology textbook if you are interested in having the pdf go and watch the video now